Hey everyone, welcome back to Damn Tasty Vegan. It's your friend. I'm your friend, Marie Rose. Today we're gonna make a freaking delicious, creamy, curry-ish butternut squash soup in the Instant Pot. You can also make this on the stove top. I love this soup because I'm not a big fan of pureed soups. I like my soups to have a little things to chew on. So if you have a bunch of butternut squash and you want a unique way of cooking it, then this recipe is for you. It's got hints of curry powder in it. It's creamy with coconut milk. It'll blow your mind. It's so comforting. So if you're ready to learn how to make this delicious butternut squash soup, let's hang out for a little bit and I'll show you how. So we're gonna start with the butternut squash and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to peel butternut squash because peeling butternut squash uncooked it gets this slimy little residue and it makes it really hard to, to handle and hold and plus it's just kind of a pain in the butt to peel in general so first you want to quarter your butternut squash like so and then you could just de-seed it and you guys you can roast butternut squash seeds just like pumpkin seeds and then I just kind of rub the seeds and the goopy part in between my uh, palms with, with some water running through it. And it makes like cleaning the seeds off really, really easy. And then I just kind of spray it with some avocado oil and season with a little bit of salt. S stir that up a bit and put it in a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes and you've got delicious butternut squash seeds. You can even top the soup with these. It tastes so good. All right, now uh, back to our butternut squash and how to peel it very easily. You can use the Instant Pot, or if you don't have an Instant Pot, uh, you can also steam this on the stove. But you just add a cup of water and just a regular old steaming basket to the Instant Pot and just pressure cook it for a minute or use the steamer setting for five minutes. And then you just take it out and rinse it with cold water so it's easier to handle. And then it just like peels like butter. <laughs> It peels so easy once you kind of cook it just a little bit, but you don't want to overcook it. So just one minute in the pressure cooker or five minutes uh, steaming on the stove top. Then just cut your butternut squash into cubes. This made about 10 cups of butternut squash, but we only need about eight for this recipe. So the extra two cups, just put it in the freezer to save for later. And then you can like roast it in the oven for a delicious side dish. Now set your Instant Pot uh, to saute, add a little bit of oil, and we're going to just saute one small onion. And once it's browned slightly, then we're going to add our curry powder and ginger powder and just let it, the spices bloom for a little bit. Then I add about a tablespoon of chopped garlic, and then I add all my other ingredients about eight cups of the butternut squash, a can of diced tomatoes and a can of drained and rinsed chickpeas. Then I added a teaspoon of dried thyme and about four to five cups of water. And then I added a veggie bouillon cube and some chopped up garden kale that I actually grew in my garden. It's so pretty and so good. Then pressure cook that on high for five minutes and quick release it once it's done. And just take a little potato masher and just mash up some of the butternut squash. Don't mash it all up uh, because you still want it to be a little bit chewy, but this is just gonna thicken up the, the broth a bit. Then you add a can of full fat or light coconut milk, depending on if you want it to be a little more fatty or not. And I love to add a little bit more texture to this by using like cauliflower rice. It's just cauliflower chopped up really, really finely. I put this in at the end because I don't want it to cook and lose its texture. So just keep it in there and let it warm up with the soup for about a few minutes and then salt to taste. Uh, I ended up adding maybe an, an extra quarter to a half teaspoon of salt in there and pepper. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this delicious, easy, creamy, curry butternut squash recipe just in time for the fall and winter to warm you right up. Let me know what you all would love to see next, and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye!